I welcome you, friend. Welcome to Whiterun, Joris City. Yes, this city, this capital of the Nords here in Skyrim. This is all Joris. For Jory has been recently given the rank of Thane by the Jarl of Whiterun himself. Jory is an honored hero, a rank given to him for defending Whiterun from the rampaging dragon. It is a honor that few Khajiit could ever even comprehend. <laughs> And even more, Jory is apparently a legendary figure called the Dragonborn. And of this, Jory has absolutely no idea what it truly means. However, at the very least, Jory can use the power called the Voice. The power which he encountered first in Bleak Falls Barrow by the Draugr within. It is a very impressive power. Unfortunately, Jory cannot use it within the walls of the Hold because the Nords will become very agitated. Oh well. Unfortunately, while Jory has much pride with his uh, new position. Becoming a Thane, however, has uh, had little impact on uh, Jory's uh, monetary wealth. He will have... Eh. We're looking for someone in White Run. Uh, we'll pay good money for information. Uh, ooh, good money, you say? Who are you looking for? A woman. A foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. Oh. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. Oh, we are not oh. welcome here in White Rock, so we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. Oh, poor Alikir, not welcome in White Run, unlike Jory. <laughs> ah, Jory's just jesting. Who are you looking for again? We're looking for a fugitive who comes from Hammerfell, oh. a Redguard woman. She may be somewhere yeah. in the city. Yeah. And may Jory ask, why are you looking for this woman? It's none of your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't huh. interest you, feel free to walk away. Jory walks where he pleases, Redguard. Anyway, he will consider this. She cannot hide from us forever. Huh. Well, if you stay in Rorik's stead, she might. There is nothing in that place. Anyway, come on, Didia. As Jory was saying, he will have to continue working as a mercenary or as an adventurer to earn good coin. Ah, right. Fortunately, Jory has already found one job. He is going to recover the sword of the Red Guard citizen Amred. Ooh. Ah. Jory was wondering when Master Esad and his company would arrive here. Oh, it's good to see many more Khajiit here, finally. Oh. Lady Lajan. Jory wishes to know more about this calmly maiden warrior. She was not originally part of Master Esad's caravan. She joined uh, just before Jory came to Master Esad and joined them coming to Skyrim. Huh, very mysterious cat this is. Oh well. Greetings, old one. Perhaps you have encountered Madran or Akari. Both are sworn to me, and both have worthy goods to offer. Oh, Jory will keep his eyes open for them, and tell them that you have given me your word on them. 
Ah, pe I see your wares, old cat. Take a look. Alright. Oh. That is very impressive. Ah. Ah. Lots of 200 weapons. Jory is a. Uh, oh. The jury needs a backpack. Uh, iron boots of speeds. <laughs> ah, well. Very expensive. But, well. Perhaps jury has things to sell to you. Old one. Here. Dragon bones. Cannot find these anywhere else but Jory. Ah, some iron ore. What else do we have? Elk hide. He need that to fashion another bedroll. We have a bedroll. Uh, no, you have not. Oh well. All right. May your road lead you to warm sands. And may yours as well. All right. Ah, Lydia, there you are. Come on. Jory has given Lydia his uh, new house car bodyguard, the Orzimor battle axe that he found on the dragon. He should be able to use it well. In any case, we have been told by Avren that his family sword is being held by the bandits of White River Watch. It is nearby. And Jory is quite uh, puzzled that such bandits could exist so close to the city. Ah, these Nords. Perhaps they are too lazy to go after them. Or maybe these bandits are so well entrenched that they have thrown back every siege the White Red Guard has set out on them, eh? Perhaps it is to Jory to finally break this unbeatable stronghold of banditry. Ah, yes. Such a job is worthy of the Dragonborn, Jory. Eh. Come on, Lydia. You are very slow. Oh, oh, what is that? What is that? Uh, skiver? Uh. Oh. Is it dead? <laughs> oh, look at that! Now that is a shot! Right in the mouth! Alright. Ah, it's lodged too tightly. Oh well. Oh well. Yeah, come on. All right. Huh. White River Watch is here. Right up there. Come on, Lydia. We must approach stealthily, even though we are encased in steel. Jory has just a thing. New spells. With this new spell, Jory becomes invisible for as long as he is patient. Alright. Jory must hurry. 
does not know how long this enchantment will last, but uh, it will last soon enough. Oh, what? Uh oh. Where is he? Oh. There! Oh. Come on! Alright! Oh! <laughs> Very good leap! You're still alive! But unconscious! Well... Fortunately, we cannot leave you alive behind us! To Rodolf. This is perhaps battle plans, eh? eh? Rodolf, your little stunts try my patience. I know my uncle has issues, but he is our watchman and you will respect him. No more sneaking in and out, no more games with his ledger or nails on his chair. Who Ouch. <laughs> One more joke, and you'll see how funny a day in the cage can be. Hajfar. Eh. Oh well. Oh! Nice, eh? Sure, he's still invisible. Oh well. His spell is lasting longer than he had anticipated. Which is good. And take these slicks. A balanced diet full of uh, vegetables is very good for one's health. This is what Mama has always said. Of course, Mama knows best. Right. Ah, <laughs> like butter. Johnny's luck-picking skills are so smooth. Come, Lydia. We have no time to dawdle, except to take some salmon. We must hurry and find Amred sword after we check this others out. Oh, tomatoes. Very funny word. Tomatoes. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Come on. Amred sword. Good night, old man. Man. Ooh. Very good iron armor. Painted hide shield. Very good weapon, huh? Yeah, take that. And your baked potatoes. <laughs> yeah, more leaks. Ah! Oh well. If you are lucky, Lydia, Jory will cook for... Jor will cook for you his special stew. Made many vegetables. Very healthy, but very tasty as well. Jory does not cook his stew just for anyone. He will have you know. <laughs> eh. Tomato. Come on. <laughs> Such funny words. Come on, Lydia. Oh, armor. It's a very cluttered cave. Ech. 
Lots of mushrooms. Oh, oh why? Nice. <laughs> Garlic. Very good for cooking. Yeah. Oh. Sure, you can see. First, let us buffle ourselves. Lydia, are you practicing alchemy behind me? Yeah, I see you. I see. Over there, go there. Go over there. Go over there. Check over. Alright. Go over there. Go over there. I heard something. Nothing. Come out. Come out. Come on. Come on. There. Oh. No, you cannot, of course. Huh. Any more of them? Right. Steel sword. Yeah. Worthless. Lydia? Come on. Oh. A boot. The cake and the diamond. Oh, take it. Fiori should build his own library. As a Thane, he must uh, be more educated and well read. He should keep up such appearances. Oh. There. Alright. Anything else? This must have been there. Bedroom. Oh, you are still alive, my dear. Johnny cannot bring himself to kill a woman. Not like this. Oh well. If he comes after us, he dies. Oh, rabbit. Yeah. Johnny makes a killer rabbit hodge. Jory will need not follow any groceries for a week. Oh. All right, come on, Didia. Ah. We 
his magic potions. Alright. Ah. Steel heart helmet. Oh, very nice. All right. Be very careful, Lydia. You think it works? Oh. Of course not. Dogs I can train. But a half starved oh. wolf, not a chance. Right. Lucky if it doesn't. <laughs> Maybe one more. <clears throat> hmm. Party, there's no more. Whoa. Whoa. Where is he? Whoa. Where is he? <coughs> Ow! Ah! Ah! Damn it! Johnny is with. Ah! Where is he? Jory is thankful. Lydia, you are apparently sometimes useful. Alright. Alright. There are you. Oh. Alright. Oh, nice. We'll take that. Jory thinks that this is pretty much all the bandits here inside the cave. All that is left is probably just the leader. Hello, wolf. Ha. Yeah. Oh. Very nice. Take that. Alright. Come on, Lydia. Oh, someone in the cage. Perhaps we could cut it down. Yeah, it's jolly. Ah, oh well. Wine and poison. Come on. Ah, this way, Lydia. Oh. Hajfar, Jory presumes. Let us give you some special attention. Poison armor. And use our best arrows. Take this potion of true shot. <laughs> Die! 
That worked perfectly. Alright, uh, Lydia, sorry that you had nothing left to do. Uh, relax for a while. Uh. Oh, some nice enchanted gauntlets. And good armor, eh? Still long sword. Uh, yeah, well. Ooh. Hamlet's family sword. Ah, right. A successful venture. Jory had no doubt, of course, that he would succeed. He is, after all, a truly magnificent Khajiit. And the Dragonborn. We will return to Whiterun. And give the sword back to Amren. And claim his reward. After that, the road is open to Jory. And we will seek more adventure and more wealth. Wherever this road takes us. 